Recently, lawmakers have been considering child sex abuse and the current time limits victims have to file suit. That's prompted many victims to come forward supporting the bill by sharing their emotional stories of abuse. One man spoke to the current's Ariel Levin Becker. Tonight, we have more on his story and how he hopes to make a difference for others. Uh, asked me to undress and um, began taking photographs of us um, as part of his study. Um, and that's during that period of time is when the abuse occurred. Decades later, it's slightly easier to talk about, but just as difficult to accept. Pete, who only wants to be identified by his first name, says he was 11 or 12 years old when he was sexually abused in 1968 by Dr. George Reardon, a doctor at St. Francis Hospital. Like many others, he and his three brothers were part of what Reardon called a study. Pete's mom dropped the boys off one afternoon. One by one, they were brought into Reardon's office, and what happened after wasn't discussed for more than 30 years. We were trolling at the time. Um, I don't think any of us really understood what really happened. Um, and it was just a subject that we never approached uh, with each other. Pete says he was ashamed, afraid, and confused, but he kept all those feelings bottled up. Then in 2007, nearly a decade after Reardon died, the owner of his former West Hartford home found more than 50,000 slides and 100 movie reels of child pornography hidden in a wall. That's when Pete and his brothers finally talked about what happened and discovered they all had the same horrific experience. I've been over to the West Hartford Police Station. I've seen the photographs of myself. Um, I think that... I deserve a day in court. I deserve to, to hear um, an explanation of why it happened, um, why, why there wasn't anything done about this a lot earlier. All four brothers are suing the hospital, but only the youngest brother's lawsuit is certain to go forward. That's because Connecticut law requires victims of child sexual abuse to come forward before the age of 48. Pete is 53. I don't think it's, it serves any purpose. Um, crimes of this nature against children should, should never have a statute of limitations. State lawmakers are considering a bill that would extend the statute of limitations on child sex abuse cases, creating a limited exception for alleged victims older than 48 who want to pursue a legal claim. I think it's important to anyone who has children uh, that they, they really do think long and hard about this this bill may protect their own children from, from this kind of incident. Pete has been in therapy, attended hearings on the bill, and met other victims of sex abuse. They've all brought him some amount of peace, but Pete is still searching for closure, closure and change. I have children of my own, um, and I think all of us who are parents, uh, our greatest fear is, is that something of this nature would happen to our children. My goal is to make sure this never happens again to any child. The bill passed the Judiciary Committee. It goes to the House next, but so far no date has been set. The economy taking its toll on the Elm City, where shoppers will no longer be able to buy tools after tomorrow.